Hey viewers, just a small video on how to repair your Audacity files when, well, it's crashed and since I'm running Windows 7 it crashes about once every two times and it especially crashes when you actually removed one of the tracks before you start a new recording. So if you restart the whole application it seems to work fine about 75% of the time but if you don't, if you remove your uh, first audio recording and then start a new one it crashes when you finish the new one so anyway uh, this was my 50th crash and I decided to make a little video on how to actually solve these problems or well to restore your files um, because I w it would have helped me a lot when I first started using the program and as I said it happens a lot that it crashes and I found a pretty efficient way to deal with it so here we go so first we get a crash here we see here you see Audacity crashes it doesn't work anymore so I go to Google well I actually have a uh, link in my uh, on my desktop but you search for the crash recovery wiki from Audacity and you find that there is mentioned where you can find the files so that's where we're going and here we are and we see we're in app data local temp and we see Audacity 1.2 temp we're going to uh, cut this directory and paste it in a new directory where we can actually work with it so I'm going to paste it here and when you open it you see all these different files in it it's all well very small sound files you're going to select number 0000, 000, 000 hit control A to select all of them and then drag them all uh, to the audacity but you have to select 0000 when you want to drag them and then you're going to see this this is about a zillion screens full of crap so we're going to zoom out first using control 3 a couple of times until we can see only a very small amount of data in each line and then we're going to fit vertically and then we get this and this is the most efficient way to restore your files from this point on as you can see we still have a lot of screens but the screens aren't as bad anymore there's now 20 files on each screen and what we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom one on the first screen uh, on the bottom left uh, part of the uh, each track you can select and then it selects everything in the track now you're going to hit control X control V uh, no you're going to hit control X to cut the part then you're going to hit the part you want to paste it over which is the uh, track above it and then you're going to hit control V to paste it in there and you're going to do that for all 20 of these and then when you reach the first one you're done with this page so you're going to hit the X on the top left of each track 19 times because you want to remove 19 of the tracks and you're going to do exactly the same thing starting with the bottom one you're going to copy paste every one of them into the, the one above and this is a lot more efficient than the way I used to do it and the way I'm sure most of pe most people are doing it when they try to do this the first time but this is a lot more efficient it takes a lot less time and it works very well so when you're done you get uh, one entire file in the top and um, all you need to do is save it to wherever as a project or as well a, a WAV file or an mp3 file whatever you want basically so it looks really simple you can actually hit the con or keep the control button down and just hit, hit X uh, and V as uh, cut and paste but it's really easy and I hope you 
I, I help at least someone with this video because for me it was a really struggle to actually get this to work the first time in an efficient manner and it took me about I don't know <laughs> well 30 times of doing it over 400 files these were 443 files I think uh, but it took me a long time before I actually realized well maybe I should invest some time in getting to know the program a bit and getting it well my method to uh, to restore the file a little bit more efficient and um, now that I have I hope you can uh, oh, my cat is being very annoying I hope you can actually uh, use this to uh, restore your own files anyway thanks for listening thanks for watching I should say uh, rate the video. That's it. Bye.